Hey everyone, it's Jen Foster and Melanie Johnson here. We are going to be talking about publishing today, book publishing. Yeah, we're going to answer some of the top questions that authors give us when they come to us about publishing their book, because um, it is kind of a dicey world. If you don't know anything about it, it can be really confusing. Wow, I got something in my eye here. Give me a second. There we go. Um, it can be really confusing of what should I do? How do I get started? What are some of the questions I should ask myself? Or even if you're writing a book. So starting from the beginning, beginning, I'm going to say the first question is when should you start marketing your book? And I'm going to say right away, once you are going to put that pen to paper, uh, your fingers on the keyboard, you want to start having a marketing plan. Think about how you're going to market your, market your book and actually market your book before you've done anything else, which is means like putting it on social media and saying, guess what, guys, I'm going to write a book and maybe even have them follow your journey. Wrote half a chapter today, got my outline done today. What do you think about this? What do you think about that? Get people engaged in the whole journey, right, Jen? Yes. And then when you're doing your book cover, having a book cover reveal and putting it out, we had an author who they knew what they wanted for their book cover. They'd actually had five to choose from and they chose one, but they decided to put all five on social media and ask their peers and their, and their readers, what is your favorite book cover? And getting the feedback from them, she kept the same book cover that she already had chosen, but it helped to tweak that book cover just a little bit more to add some more elements that, that people were talking about. So one of the big questions you should ask yourself when you're starting to write a book and want to become an author is, who is the book for? Who is your target market? So who is the audience? And they're all slightly different questions, right? So who is the book for? Who's your target market? Um, so, you know, you have, your book could be for one person. You could be writing the book for one specific person. That's usually what we like to do when we're working with an author to create their content. You know, it starts out the target market, target audience. They'll say, oh, it's 25 to 55 year old, right? Could be men and women, or it's women, or it's just men. So you're figuring out who your target audience is on a big scope, more on a global scope, so to speak, for your demographic. But then we like you to hone it right into who is that one person and you may say it's really for a person who just got out of college who's trying to get a job and they're trying to interview for jobs right now or it's just for the entrepreneur who is just starting their business they just got their llc and these are all the tips for them and then you name them that person's name is joe he's 36 years old he lives in utah he has a family he has two kids you know and you're really getting down to that one person of who your book is for and it may even be that you're writing it for a specific person that you're trying to get the foot in the door to so keep that in mind that's like where you should really start even before you put a word down on paper is who are you writing the book for yeah and there's a lot of online resources you can find to help you find your avatar because it's really like you know what are the top five things they like what are the top five things they hate what is the what is this what is that and when you get your final avatar you should have like a name of a person you kind of know what they look like you kind of know how many kids they have don't have kids you know how old they are whatever but you know exactly everything about that person so that when you're writing you can write to that person like you're writing to the the one so like when we wrote our book podcast authorized right we were writing it for that person who has a podcast that really wants to have a book or, mm -hmm. and we were also writing it to the person who has a book that really wants to create a podcast to make it easier for them. So we had it honed down to our person's name was Sam. Um, they were 45 years old. They had a career and now they wanted to make it into a book. They were a business person, an entrepreneur. Um, so, you know, what our book podcast authorized, we went through the same process of how to do that. So this is a good thing for you. And then the other question you should ask yourself is how is this book going to help people? And this is great for 
not just a how-to book. It's really great for a memoir too. So if you're telling your story and you have a journey, um, we've helped people write their books that were telling their story in a memoir and they've been through some trials and tribulations. So they knew that it was going to help them help people get through some of the same experiences that they've had. And if it's a how-to book, then you want to know, you know, hey, like our book, How to Write Your Life Story, really tells you how to write a memoir, right? It's giving you all these prompts, giving you tips on how to write and publish your book. So how to write your um, story and leave a legacy. It tells you step-by-step how to do that to create and write a book for yourself. Yeah, I love that because... You, if you have that in mind, like, how are you going to help people? Then you can, when you're writing, you can have that in the underlying words, you know, making sure that you have that end result. What is the end result? What do you want people to say and feel and do when they are done reading your book? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So have that in mind. So again, we're going to recap just a little bit before we end here. So you want to know who your audience is, who that one person you're going to write your book for. So you'll start with the big picture of your big target audience and then hone that all down into just one person, right? Yeah. And then the next thing is, right, Jen, what was the next thing that we taught? Yeah, you mean... um... You mean what we already talked about or the next question? (laughs) Yeah, what we've already talked about. We're kind of recapping here of what the the next thing is. So you learned your target audience, right? How you're going to do that. Then it's like, what is the purpose of your book? What are they going to learn from your book, right? So you're Mm going to want to know from the beginning what they're going to learn from your book, whether it's a memoir, whether it's a how-to book. And those are kind of, that's like a theme that's going to run through your book. Like, let's say it's a book about leadership. So you're going to want to have that leadership three theme go throughout your book. Um, You're going to teach different things, but then it also ties back into leadership. So you may even teach strategies like automation and systems and processes um, because you have this knowledge, but how does that tie back into leadership for your book, right? So that theme and what you're doing. So we do that with um, how to write your life story and leave a legacy um, is that theme of how to write your book um, and how to do these different tasks and come up with a book at the end of the day. That's will be the end result and the benefit. One other key thing we use is like, if they were to shut your book right now, what would they say they got out of your book? What were the main thing or things that they got out of reading your book? So those are some great tips for you to start before you start writing a book, um, just to give you some insight. And we're here to help you. You can check us out at Elite Online Publishing. We've published over 3,000 books. We guarantee our authors will be number one bestsellers. So um, just hit that submission button. And um, we don't take everybody. We get that question all the time. Do you publish every book? No, we do not. We look at for books that are inspirational, motivational, and educational. And people we like to work with that are action takers um, and that know how to follow a process because we have a proven process. Um, we work with people um, with just an idea and when they follow our process, um, which is a concierge level service process, we're doing all the heavy lifting for you. Their book is written and published within six months, like we did for Donna Peters. Love it. Yeah. You can check out our authors. We actually have a new page on our website called featured authors. So if you, if you go to elite online publishing.com backslash featured dash authors, you can check out all of our authors, including Donna Peters with Options Are Power. And you can check out the latest book we published this last week, The Honeycomb Diamond by Sarah Stamford, as well on Amazon, which is a really great mystery thriller book for all you fiction lovers. (laughs) Terrific. So if you'd like to work with us and our company and our experts, just reach out to us. Thanks. See you next time. Talk to you soon. Bye.